Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for coming. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Joanne Clark, and I'm one of the education specialists here. And um, we have tried to come up with some informative programs for you since we are all going through this uh, stroke education process for our accreditation. So let's get going. We're going to start off with rehabbing the stroke patient. We've got Judy Joy here, and we have Sophia Hulst from our rehab department, and I will let them continue. Good morning, everybody. Most of you know me. I'm Judy Joy. I'm a PT assistant here. I've been here for nine years in February. Um, also, if there, you find that the patient is laying in bed with that foot dropped down and the leg is rotated out to the side, you have the stabilization bars so that you can put it in a position so that you can get the foot back into neutral with the toes pointed up. Keeps the knee and the hip also in a more neutral position because that's another problem that we also have is the hip rotation component. When you lay in bed for a long period of time and your hip is stayed rotated out to the side, and if you think about it, when you lay in bed, you don't lay in bed with your toes perfectly upright. You're, you, usually your legs are a little bit rotated out to the side. Again, I do a lot of tactile cueing um, to remind the patient that, you know, this is going to be the strong side. I want her to pay, push up with this hand. So, okay, Sophia, how are you today? My name's Judy. I'm from physical therapy, and I'm going to get you from this chair over to this chair today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first put your arm here. Is this pretty sore, or is it okay? Mm -hmm. It's okay. Okay. If she were weak in this arm and it was really flaccid, you could actually almost tuck it into the gait belt. Or, well, we don't usually use slings too much here. We, um, we try and avoid that. But you can either put her hand in here or you can cradle the arm when you go to stander. Again, I try and get right down to my patient at their level so that th they know that I'm right here. I'm, gonna, I'm giving them that trust component right off the bat. Probably the first thing I want to do is get the patient to scoot her bottom forward a little bit because she's going to be sitting pretty far back and it's not easy to get up out of a chair when you're sitting with your, your buns way back against the back. So we're going to try and encourage her to scoot forward. So can you bring this left hip forward for me? And then this side and try and weight shift them. If, they, if you're worried about their balance, you can put your hand right here or again, have a second person with you. And so what we're going to do, Sophie, is I'm going to have you stand up. I'm going to stand right in front of you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my, hand, my foot right here in between yours. Now, when you're doing a, a stand pivot transfer to the strong side, even if this is the weaker leg, I'm not going to worry so much about blocking this leg because she's going to stand up to her strong side, and I know that she's going to be able to probably stand on the stronger leg. So when I transfer her, I'm putting one foot between to guide her strong leg. So I'm, it's, my knees are going to be on her knees. It's, we call it the knee sandwich at IRCC. I'm going to give her the knee sandwich here. And when she stands up, I'm going to be using my foot and my knee to manipulate her to the side. But the first thing we're going to do is I want you to push up with this hand, OK? Mm -hmm. And you're going to stand up onto this nice, strong leg. I'm going to get really close to you. And I'm going to stand you up. So notice my body mechanics keeping my back straight so I get her up if if the patient is unsteady you can tell them that they can put their their hand on your back if you want you can hold on to me for a second and just test to see how they're doing standing up if she's good to stand that if she's good standing then you can transfer if she's really weak then you want to sit her back down and get a second person okay so now what I want you to do is reach for that chair over there and I'm gonna pivot her right around just like this, and then we're going to sit, okay? And then you're going to sit right down with the patient like this, guiding her. And I think the key is to say that you're guiding the patient down, because that's really what you're doing, is you're guiding the patient. And then when she's sitting there and you think she's comfortable, then you're good to step away. I just don't want to keep my back to you. But again, you want to get her down, guiding her into the chair, making sure that she's not sitting on the rail, obviously, with her, her weaker side. Now, if I were going to go a pivot from her this, uh, this chair to this chair going to her weak side, again, I'm still going to go on the pivoting leg. 